Title, The Amazing Elderberry. A look at its health benefits. Elderberry, whose formal name is Sambucus, is a wonderful and useful fruit. That has been used for medicine for a very long time. These dark purple blackberries come from the elder tree. And have become very famous recently because they are so good for you. This piece talks about where elderberries came from. What they look like, and how they can help your health in many ways. 1. Its historical importance and botanical traits. A. Roots in the past. For hundreds of years, elderberries have been used as medicine. Records from the past show that the Egyptians, Romans, and Native Americans all used them. Hippocrates, who is known as the father of medicine, called elderberry his medicine chest because it could be used in so many ways. B. Some characteristics of plants. There are many kinds of elderberry plants, which are all in the Adoxaceae family. Sambucus nigra is the species that is most often used in cooking and medicine. Elderberries are small, dark purple to black, and grow in groups on small trees or shrubs. 2. Composition and nutrition. Elderberries are good for you because they are full of important nutrients and chemicals that help your body. Vitamins. Elderberries have a lot of vitamins, especially vitamin C, which shields cells from damage and makes the defense system stronger. They also have vitamin A, which helps keep your skin and eyes healthy. Minerals, B. Elderberries have a lot of potassium, which is an important chemical for keeping blood pressure and heart health in general in good shape. They give you a little iron and copper. Plant-based chemicals. Elderberries have a lot of flavonoids, which are chemicals that fight free radicals and inflammation. Some examples are quercetin and anthocyanins. These chemicals can help fight reactive stress and lower the chance of getting long-term illnesses. 3. How elderberries can help your health. A. Help for the immune system. Elderberries are known to help your defense system because they have a lot of vitamin C. They also have anthocyanins and quercetin in them which help control the immune system and keep you from getting colds and flu. B. Power of antioxidants. Elderberries are powerful antioxidants because they have a lot of flavonoids, which defend cells from damage caused by free radicals. This ability to fight free radicals may lower the chance of getting long-term diseases, like diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. C. Effects on reducing inflammation. Elderberries can help people with diseases like arthritis because they reduce inflammation. They might also help make inflamed lung diseases like bronchitis and asthma less severe. D. Heart and blood vessel health. Elderberries have potassium, which helps keep blood pressure healthy and lowers the risk of heart disease. Anthocyanins are linked to better blood vessel health and lower cholesterol levels, which is good for your heart. E. Health of the stomach. Elderberries have dietary fiber in them, which helps the digestive system and keeps you from getting constipated. They also have mild diuretic benefits that are good for the kidneys. 4. Warnings and use. Even though elderberries are good for you in many ways, you should be careful when eating them. Making food. You shouldn't eat raw elderberries because they have cyanogenic glycosides in them, which are poisonous. This poison is successfully removed by cooking or processing elderberries having allergies. Some people may be allergic to elderberries, which can cause bad responses, like itching, swelling, or stomach problems. It's best to start with small amounts to see if you have any allergic responses. Interactions between medicines. Elderberries can affect how some medicines work, so it's important to talk to a doctor before eating them, especially if you are taking medicines that thin the blood. Elderberries have been used as medicine for a long time and are now known for many health benefits. They help the immune system, fight oxidative stress, and improve general health. Because they are full of vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. When adding elderberries to your diet, it's important to be careful and get professional help. Just like with any other natural treatment. For a healthier and more satisfying life, this amazing fruit is proof of the old wisdom that you can use nature's gifts. How often should you use black elderberry? The amount of time that black elderberry, Sambucus nigra, is used can change based on why it's used and how it's taken. If you want to know how often to use black elderberry, here are some general rules. To boost your immune system. 
Elderberry syrups and vitamins are often taken to keep people from getting colds and flu during flu season. In this case, a daily dose is usual, but it's very important to follow the dosage instructions on the product label. If you're taking elderberry to help with cold or flu symptoms, you should start taking it as soon as you feel sick and keep doing so for a few days until your symptoms get better. This could mean taking it two to four times a day. General health. If you want to use elderberry for its health benefits in general, you can eat it or take it as a supplement on a daily basis. Once more, it's very important to follow the dosage instructions on the product package. Exact conditions. Some people may use elderberry to treat certain health problems, like allergies or inflammation. In this case, the amount of time used should be talked over with a medical worker, since it can change based on the condition and the person's needs. Kids. It's very important to follow the dosing advice for the elderberry product you're using when giving it to kids. There are formulations made just for kids, and it's important not to take more than the suggested amount. Length of time. If you're going to be using elderberry vitamins for a long time, it's best to take breaks every so often. You can talk to a healthcare professional to get advice on how long you should use it. Precautions for safety. As with any natural remedy, it's important to be careful not to take more than the suggested amount, as doing so could have bad effects. Talk to a medical professional. Talking to a doctor or nurse before starting a new supplement or herbal routine is always a good idea. Based on your health and wants, they can give you personalized advice. To sum up, how often someone uses black elderberry depends on their health goals. The type of elderberry they use, syrup, pills, tea, etc., and the product they are using. To make sure the product works and is safe to use, it's important to follow the dosage instructions on the box and talk to a doctor if you're not sure. Is it okay for kids to do? The black elderberry plant, Sampucus nigra, can be safe for kids if it is used correctly and in the right amount. When giving elderberry to kids, there are, however, some important things to remember. Adult and child versions. Many elderberry goods come in adult and child versions that are specially made for kids. Most of the time, these goods come in syrups or gummies, which make them easier for kids to bite and swallow. Talk to a pediatrician. It's best to talk to a pediatrician or other healthcare worker before giving elderberry to a child. Based on the child's age, weight, and health needs, they can help choose the right product, dose, and frequency of use. Age considerations. Some types of blackberry products are not good for babies or very young children. Some items may only be safe for kids over a certain age, so it's important to follow the age-specific instructions. Dosage. It's very important to follow the dosage directions on the product label or as told by a medical professional. Avoid taking more than the recommended amount, as too much can have bad effects. Allergies and sensitivities. Keep an eye out for kids who might have allergies or sensitivities. If you know that a child is allergic to or sensitive to certain foods or substances, you should check the elderberry product's chemicals to make sure it's safe for them. Keep an eye out for bad reactions. Elderberry is usually thought to be safe, but some people, like children, may have side effects or allergic reactions to it. Keep an eye on the child to see if they have any bad responses, like itching, swelling, or stomach problems. If these responses happen, stop using it and see a doctor. Do as directed. Elderberry syrups or vitamins should not be used instead of a healthy diet. You can take them as a vitamin to improve your health, but you shouldn't count on them as your only source of nutrients. Black elderberry can be safe for kids as long as it is used correctly and with care. It's important to talk to a doctor, follow age-appropriate rules, and use pediatric formulations when they're available. Elderberry can help kids' health if they follow the directions and are careful about safety. It can be especially helpful during cold and flu season or to boost the immune system.